Access on the deep. All right. All right. I'm back here. All right. I'm waiting for somebody. I'm finna do this raw and uncut. <laughs> we got something to say. Yo, I got something to say. Somebody got something to say. Hold on. Let me, uh, hold on. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's rock. Um, let me get my glasses on really quick. I need to see people's comments. Dear Lord, have mercy. Jesus. What's happening? I tell you, G-Dog. Yeah, there's no hair, man. Let's give it up for Jada. Oh, let me see if I can I turn it this way. No, can I turn it this way? Yeah. Jesus, that Lord way. have mercy. Jesus, take the wheel, right? Take the wheel, Lord. Man, I, man, I tell you <laughs> what. These, listen here. These females out here. I think they're females. I don't know. They got huge Adam's apples. Now, uh. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying without saying. Y'all make up your own damn mind. <laughs> oh, yes. Big Adam Whatever. Apple. They love us. They love us. <laughs> I hear you got a few fans yourself. Oh, my God, man. It's like they can clap for me, man. They, they what, love what? me, Gina. They love me. You ready? You ready for it? Here we go. All right. Good job, coach. Good What's job, good I, job. Jesus Christ, Lord have mercy. You know, for people to sit there and say that they hate us so much, you know, we block them just so that way they can set out our videos. But yet they go above and beyond and out of their way to make like four or five, six fake Facebook profiles just to follow right. us. That's how much they love us. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. I tell you one damn thing. I think she liked it. I think she liked the coochie. I'm just oh, saying. Oh yeah, she does. I'm just saying. She want to climb my branches and shake my tree. <laughs> she got a little sugar in her Ooh, tank. Wait. Jesus. Yeah, a little sugar in her tank. You know. She got a little sugar. In and her she tank. loves her little phone. Mm -mm -mm. I got I all the evidence on you. I, I got you. I just got off of a life. I think it's so sweet. You know, this is going to end up over there. Listen here. Listen, girl. Congratulations on your new job, right? So she doesn't have to do the buy-sell trade online anymore. So That's right. Huge thumbs up for her. Good job. Good job, thumbs Coach. Up. Thumbs job. up for you. Also, job, I did tell her in our phone conversation, um, next time she does a live feed, to go to the bathroom, wash her face, and hide her crazy. Next time, throw on a little bit of makeup. Now then, whenever Ooh. I said throw on a little bit of makeup, girl, I did tell you to hide your crazy. Now then, that girl, that lipstick, you so jazzy. <laughs> you Why? so motherfucking jazzy, bitch. Love it. Mm. Love it. Yeah, special shout out to your girl. Jesus Christ. Lord we love you, Bo. We love it, Bo. Obsession. Obsession. Gotta love Obsession. it. But you know what? Yeah. I'm not even gonna call her a hater no more. I'm gonna call her a motherfucking fan. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. That's she keep all her evidence in her phone. She like, I, <laughs> I got you. I got you. We I need to start her a GoFundMe. All right. We should. We need to start her a GoFundMe so she can go to Sephora, right? Or go to right. Ulta or something. Do something with that hair. Do something with that face, right? Maybe tuck back Hallelujah. her dingy. You know what I'm saying? Cause she got a little, she got a little bit of a, a lump. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, we might be able to help her out with that. And then that cracked phone. I mean, I hear that Metro PCS has a uh, a sale going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and then maybe, maybe listen because because deep down in my cold, cold heart, I really do. I love her because I've been praying for you, girl. I've been praying for you. I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. 
Uh -huh. Tell the truth and shame the devil, Gina. My accent on purpose. A blip. <laughs> but what I am going to say is, though, is um, I would, listen, I, I would like for you, if it's okay, because I'm on a, on a, I'm on a band right now, right? Because every time they say something about me, I come back from my band and I prove that they're lying and they get mad and they ban me again. So mm -hmm. I would like for everyone to post the number to the uh, the insane asylum over there in Dallas, Texas, because she lives right in, outside of Grand Prairie. Um, yes. I think that it would be, you know, since it's it's that time of year, tis the time of the season to do something for someone else, right? And she needs wow. to have herself a merry little Christmas in a padded room, right? I think that's... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's us going above and beyond. They can give her a nice little jumper, keep her warm. You know what I'm saying? I hear that. I hear that. You know the jackets that they have. They fit really snug right. when they tie them. You know, with the belts behind the back. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I know mm. that. I think that the I've heard that the the. I mean, I watch a lot of CSI and shit, so I hear that the walls are padded. Now that I don't know if they're gonna give her a cot, but I mean. Maybe, just maybe, because whenever she does these little live videos, she reminds me of the exorcist climbing on the walls and Ooh. shit. She might be able to, she might be able to just sleep on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like the exorcist did climbing all backwards and shit on the damn wall. I mean, so she might get some cushion on that padded wall to sleep on. She gonna sleep really good. It looks like she ain't had a good night's sleep in a while. She looking a little rough. Girl looking a little rough. All right. Mm, I'm, I mean, mm. I'm just saying. So, Miss Adam, yeah. Just want to let them know. Listen here, let girl. I see you, sugar. Mm -hmm. We see you. You are comedy, girl. We see you. I tell you what. We see you. I'm a laugh a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you mm -hmm. one damn thing, though. She needs. She, look. In all seriousness, though, all right, you're Seriously. looking a little rough. You're looking a little. Yes. Listen, you need to lay off the booger sugar. I've now. <laughs> I've seen how you look. You look a. You look like a pair of blue jeans, just really distressed. You know what I'm saying? She need to quit doing a little bit of this, a little bit of uh -huh. that. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of uh -huh. this. I don't know, but girls hit it hard. I mean. I ain't never seen nobody what they look like at rock bottom, but I can imagine because this bitch looks like she just crawled right out of the morgue Ooh. with a fucking toe tag. Right. Her. You need to get some She's rest. To live dead. She need to get some rest. She need to get some sleep. Bless your heart, baby. She Bless spends all her heart. time on you, though. She's restless. Uh, listen, this is that's what I call. Listen, that's what I call a ratchet interruption. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. But she ain't inter interrupting anybody else's life. She's interrupting hers. As a matter of fact, she's been on my nuts for almost two years. Oh, Miss Janelle Schaefer. Yep. <laughs> I got a message Ooh. from her where she acknowledges that her bestie has been stalking mm. my life for almost two years now. And at first, I found it flattering. You know what I'm saying? But... Now I just find it a little bit weird. I mean, my God, girl, if you're going to ride my dick so God bless it hard, at least send me some chocolates, a bottle of wine, and some fucking flowers. Right. Take a bitch to you know dinner and a movie. Yes. Do it right. Do it right, Devin baby. Champ said he right. likes apples. Last time I checked, a woman mm. shouldn't have an apple on her throat. Oh, no, they shouldn't. <laughs> uh -huh. Mm. Yeah, nice little. What do you think about all that? You got that? a Granny Lord Smith under there. Lord have mercy. Yeah. She ain't doing nothing but bringing us viewers. Yes, that's all she's doing, bringing us viewers. Come on, bring mm -hmm. them on, bring them on. You know, yeah. you got nothing better to do, are... Bo. Yep. And I do want to say this to all the people that are in my inboxes, are in my inbox, apologizing to me for believing her and. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Y'all just go on stay on that side of the fence. All right. Y'all decided to roll Bye, around Felicia. In the mud. Don't come over here in my fucking mm -hmm. pasture eating all my green shit. So. You dick. Get your you know what she's doing right else. now? 
You know what she's doing right now? What's she doing right now? She's doing this. Right uh -huh. now. She's got a phone and she's recording our video live right now. She's streaming it live from YouTube so she can upload it. Yeah. Yes. Girl, like, I see y'all. So you need to fix not only the crack in her phone, but all them cracks in her face. Girl, you're too old to be playing yes. like that. Ooh, wee. Come on Ooh, now. You too old, boo. <laughs> boo. You, you too old, boo. Hey, honey. You need some attention, boo. You need a hug I'm for me. I'm going to smoke me a cigarette. Maybe I can go. Uh... Do what? Maybe, maybe NJ Turner need a hug from me. You need a hug. You need, you need a hug from a dude to make you feel feel like a woman. <laughs> I mean, Miss Granny, she me a throat looking feel ass girl. Like a woman. She needs to take her ass back to the kitchen. All right. She needs to give up some booty or something. You know what I'm saying? She needs herself yeah. a good dick. That's what she needs. Yes, Remember she that did. video that I did on the feminist movement, the feminist march? I said, all you bitches are yeah, wondering yeah. why your marriages are ending in divorce because you bitches got way too much time on your hands and ain't got nothing to, nothing better to do. That's what it is. Woo. They'd rather spend their time on doing a bunch of nonsense than, you know, cleaning their house or making some damn sandwiches or... Hell, right. I don't know. Folding socks. Folding socks. Pairing up socks. You know what I'm saying? These bitches, they got, <laughs> yeah, they, you know why they're so angry? You know why they're so angry? Because they need a good dick. And I'm not talking about their uh -huh. own. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about their own. Although I'm sure, I'm sure from all the attention that she gives me, men don't do it for her. You know what I'm saying? Her husband probably uh -huh. has to play one of my live feeds to get her off. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Probably. Right. <laughs> I make that bitch okay. gush like a waterfall. Lord have mercy. Mm. Listen here, sugar. I don't swing. Somebody that make way. that chick squirt. Listen, someone's got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Someone's got to do make it. Make us squirt somebody. She needs a good dick. That's why she's so damn angry. Maybe if her man didn't have a vagina, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Maybe if she didn't have the dick and her man didn't have the vagina, she'd be better off. That's a that's a hell of a mismatched pair. That's like a red sock and blue sock. Ninety nine percent of her videos on YouTube is, is about you. Is, is about you. Ninety nine percent is her video. Ninety nine. Well. 99. She's got like thirty videos, and when like all when like twenty seven of them are of me, you know what I'm saying? I know I do it for right, her. right. I do it for. Her. I have to. Man, I have to. I feel like she's riding my dick so hard. She should be paying me for she this. Is. I really do. Man. I feel like I'm being used. I truly do. Lady, pay her. Pay the lady. Yeah. Pay the woman. Yeah. Right. Well, Jesus, Lord have mercy. You know what it is? Lord have mercy. It's because it's because I got this long duck. That's why she's so attracted to me. Because I got balls and her That's man don't. I'm willing to bet mm -hmm. you anything. She likes that cooter. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You hear that, Bo? You hear that, Bo? Mm -hmm. I think it's you funny, it. though. I really do. Well, I kind of think that it's funny. Because... Oh, I've never seen a woman so consumed with hate and envy and jealousy. Listen here, honey, mm. you can be 10 years younger and your tits to your uh, really up on your chest rather than at your belly button. And you still can't do it like me. <laughs> what? I bet you can't do it like me. What? You can't. You know what I'm saying? Do it like me. But it, it is mm. what it is. But it's, it's so sad. You know, she wonders why she's not getting any views. Why, uh, you know, People don't really know who she is unless we bring her attention and she has to name drop. But the yes. reason why is because outside of our doors, I mean, day in and day out, you want to see misery. You want to see some, you know, terrible fucking right. shit. You can turn on the news. Yeah. You can go outside your door. You know what I'm saying? Yep. There's always something bad going on in today's society right. people don't want to get on facebook and on youtube and hear someone else's fucking misery bitch you're not entertaining i mean she right. is but she's not she's so fucking miserable you have no personality at all and mm -hmm. the shit that's coming Dude. out of your mouth is so vindictive 
and hateful. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. It really, I mean, it is, it is sad. It, it, it is, you know. She's miserable, Just you know. She needs it. some attention. She wakes up with me on her mind. She goes to bed yes. with me on her mind. So I consume you. You know what I'm saying? You're hurt. You're That's hurt. a hard load. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a hard mm -hmm. load to swallow. I'm just saying. You, you, you in her, you in her she sleep. She needs to swallow a. <laughs> she needs to swallow a bag of dicks. Is what she needs to do. She needs to swallow something. Ooh I'm just yeah, saying. You, you hear that? You hear that, Bo? You hear that, Bo? <laughs> she needs. She needs to do something. Mm. Find something productive to do when, with your time. Find something productive yeah. to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Disgusting. Whatever. I mean, Soros must be paying really fucking good, though. You know right. what I'm saying? Soros must be paying really fucking good. Right, right. He giving so, us some good on the table money right here. <laughs> I mean, I think that, I think that, uh, I think that, I think that I love getting under people's skin. I really do. I don't I love it. It's like, it's I like, I'm like wow. A, you know, what, do you like, call, what do you call it? A chigger. You ever heard of a chigger? You know, they sit, they sleep in the grass and you lay on the grass and they like get up underneath your skin. Yes. Like it's like, I get up under people's ooh, skin. Ooh, they keep they itching like. Get rid of me. Yeah. They took off of me. Yeah, Why right? she can't get off? I I'm thought I scratched her off. That she wants to scratch. That itch. And I'm always on her fucking yeah. back. You might want to cut you might want to cut off your skin. But guess what? You cut off your skin, it's still gonna awesome. go back. I think it's awesome. You like cactus under her skin. I you love, it. love it. You know, why why not? Why not enjoy it? You know, she's enjoying it. I mean But see, I don't <coughs> I don't think she is. It's like, uh, oh. it's kind of like Hillary Clinton is who she reminds me of. Do you know how hard it is oh. to, to, do you know how hard it is to fucking, to keep up with the lies that you're saying? You know what I'm saying? Eventually right, it all, right, right. If, it all falls apart, which it's doing, you know? Yes. And I think uh -huh. it's, I mean, in a way I think that it's sad because. It is. Listen, you know, Jermon has a perfect saying, which I love Jermon. He says, we yes. all have the same mother and same father. Mother nature and father time. Right. Listen here, all right? This bitch needs to get out into mother nature and enjoy frolicking in the fields of yeah. freedom. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to cut off everybody else's freedom. And right. she needs to get on father time's ass, not mine, because he ain't been kind to her. He has mm -mm. not been kind to her. Hell no. And you can't go backwards <laughs> with that shit, bitch. Once that time is spent, it's spent. You can't refund that shit. You better find something productive to do with your time. Because when you're yeah, dead and gone, people are going to remember, you know, how much misery and how, how hateful and vindictive and conniving and consumed with envy and greed and jealousy and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you ain't got... You ain't leaving your mark behind on the world for people to remember you long after you're gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If anything, people are going to be like, <laughs> finally, finally, you know, another one bites the dust. You know? I mean, it is. Do, 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 it's sad, do, really, do, it is. Do. Because, I mean, ain't none of us going to make it out of life alive. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you ain't really living if you ain't living. You know what I'm saying? Right, and little, whenever little, you little. live to lie on everybody else, your life is gone. I mean, you can't enjoy it. And every time, every time she does a video or every time she takes a picture, it's always the same face. Yes. Uh huh. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell y'all about Gina Nelms. Five minutes later. Yeah. The proof that I have on Gina Nelms. A week later, <laughs> waiting on the proof for Gina Nelms. A month later, wait, note it. Just wait uh, for uh, the proof uh, on Gina Nelms. It's coming. Three months later, we waited. We waited. 
We need the proof on I Gina Nims. I sentence that shows Gina Nims is mean. There's proof. Still waiting. Still Bitch, waiting. Let, listen here. Someone posted, a, someone posted a meme. I thought it was funny. It was a picture of me on the toilet, right? Picture of me on the toilet. And I had this face. Like, I was pushing, like, you know? Because I ain't going to lie. The struggle was real that day. I was constipated as a motherfucker. And someone had posted the picture. Which I thought the face was funny. Actually, I posted the picture. Oh, I didn't post the picture to Facebook, but I sent it to someone. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I told them I was dropping an Obama. And they decided to take that picture, and they made a meme of it, <laughs> right? And right, they right. said, they said Gina Nelms, uh, Gina Nelms claims she she, Gina Nelms claims she, uh, she dropped a ten pound deuce or took a ten pound shit. N.J. Turner had her head so far up Gina Nelms' ass and determined it was really nine pounds. Gina Nelms is a con. I was like, good God Almighty. How the hell did she weigh that shit with her mouth? Ten pounds in your <laughs> mouth. It's all that comes out of it is shit. Yep, that's all that comes Hi, out. Hi, Debbie. That's all that comes out of it. But I'm excited to get these uh, these reports in and stuff so I can I can post it. It's going to be public record anyway, so it's not like I'm doing okay. anything illegal, but I can't wait to post it. I think it's going to be rather funny, as a matter of fact, right. just to show people mm. how above and beyond other people will go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because they're so consumed with jealousy and envy mm -hmm. that they're not even enjoying their own fucking life. You know what I'm saying? If y'all spend half as much time in your own damn business as you did everybody else's, maybe your life wouldn't be Ooh. shit. Ooh, wee. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't see a message that she, that she go. I mean, you, you call yourself a patriot, but where's the message? Where, 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 where's the message? Where are the facts? What's going on, you know? Yeah, every now and then you want to bash somebody, fine. I want to know this. She calls herself a patriot, but right. why is she trying to lie about other good-hearted patriots? You know what I'm saying? She went right, after right. me. She went after Chad yep. Kozdra, who's a 22-year veteran. She has gone yep. after Hammer, Keith Williams, who's an amazing, yep. amazing man. Yes, he is. She has gone after you. She has gone after, uh, well, one of the guys, actually. Um, Jermon. Yeah, she's gone after, well, she's gone after Jermon. Um, she's also gone after her and Matt Verrier, who run the contractors page. I don't know if you guys were okay. around during the, the bitches of MAGA march that I busted out, but he ran a page called Con Busters. And okay. he actually was trying to, and I was a part of that group. I ain't even going to lie. I was very open about it. The people that are running mm -hmm. contractors now, the guy that opened it, he was running a group called Con Busters about a year ago Yeah. during the uh -huh. Bag of March shit, right? Whenever I busted all of them out. And I was very open about it. Um, and I left Con Busters. Because I was right. an admin, and we were getting messages coming in where people were telling us mm -hmm. about some of these women that were part of the MAGA March shit. And Matt Verrier yeah. would take uh, those messages, and he would add to the messages. You see what I'm saying? Right. So he would add to the truth, something that was the truth, but then he would add lies to it. And he would twist and spin it, and then he would post it onto Conbusters. And then whenever he started right. attacking people's children... I told him, fuck you, I want no part of it. My only goal was to bust out the bitches from MAGA March because it hit a nerve with me, and it really pissed me yes. off. And um, and that's what I did. And he wanted more, 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 and he was constantly trying to go after more people. But these were good people. So why are you going right. after these good people is what I didn't understand, uh, which a good friend of mine, his mm. name is Ben, um, he still has all of that all of that information from Conbusters because I had him as an admin in there as well. So he still has all of that. I'm talking videos, um, screenshots, messages, all that stuff. Right. 
um, he still has all of that. So the mm. same players in the Conbusters that I left because they were, hey, Harim. Hi, hi. What's up, Harim? Um, What's up, SA? Yeah. Um, the people that were running the Conbusters shit, actually, as a matter of fact, Harim. During that time, they had started up a bunch of shit in my ear, and they were taking stories and lying about it, and they were actually sending shit to me like it was a screenshot of a message, and I went after Harim. Now, whenever I found right. out what was going on, Harim was around in that time, so I apologize okay. to Harim because I felt like shit. I truly did. I felt like fucking shit because come to find out the shit that was going on, was a, a flat out fucking lie. So I attacked someone, right. a good hearted person, Harim. I attacked him mm -hmm. for no fucking reason because the people on contractors were telling me shit that whenever they were running con busters were telling me shit and yeah. I believed it just assuming that it was the fucking truth. And I had never even talked to Harim. I had only seen a few of his videos. Mm. So that was my bad. And then I felt like fucking shit. And that's how, you know, Ooh. I started talking to him. Yeah, Harim remembers, yeah. And that's how I started talking to uh, some of his followers. And we were, you know, they were telling me things, and I was telling them things, and I was sending them screenshots of this shit so they would know where it came from. Right. And by the time the truth came out, I was like, fuck. I just attacked a good man for no fucking reason mm. other than the fact that these people who I trusted were spreading false yeah. information and lying. And it was really fucking That's sad because I went in. I fucking went All in. All right. You know? Mm -hmm. And so then I had to make a video and apologize. And that was embarrassing, but I'm a grown-ass woman. And if I'm wrong, I'll say hey. so. I'll apologize. Hey, I've got no problem in swallowing my pride. But – that's what they're doing. They're turning patriots against other patriots. And this shit has been going on for over right. a year now. So if you guys Jesus. haven't been here since the beginning, a lot of you guys have started coming in, you know, in, you know, over the past couple of months, you know, four, maybe six months. So a lot of you guys are right. missing the key players from a year ago that was doing all of this. And now they're back. You see what I'm saying? Doing the same right. exact shit being conniving and lying and whatever else trying to take down the, the patriot mm -hmm. community and it's sad and i don't give a fuck whether i like you or not i am always going to have yeah. your back because you and i are in the same fight and at the end of the day that's all Word. that matters to me i don't give a fuck about your personal life i don't give a fuck about yep. your past I don't give mm -hmm. a fuck about any issues that you may have, your sexual preference, mm -hmm. the color of your skin, where you're from. Amen. I don't, give, I don't Amen. give a shit about any of that. All I care about mm -hmm. is that I have people that love this country enough to yes. fucking fight right next to me to preserve it. That's right. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. That's all I care about. That's all. Because I can't fight this battle on my own. So I'm going to fight right. my That's ass off now so my kids don't have to later. And those people that are in this patriot focus. community that are fighting right next to me, in front of me, beside me, and behind me, I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your personal yes. business. Yes, you do. Yes, your you do. business is your own. I don't give a fuck about any of that. You know what I'm saying? All I care about mm -hmm. is, is your fight the same fight as mine? And if so, how are we going right. to move forward together? Because I'm not the type of bitch to go into my closet and draw up no fucking shield and hide. I'm the type of bitch to go Word. into my fucking closet and I want to draw up my sword and I'm a fight for what I believe in. And those are the type of people that I fight, want girl. in my corner. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So that's all I care about. Let's fight our asses off now. To preserve our constitution, our rights, and our nation. Yep. So our kids don't have to fight later. You know? Yes. That's all I care about. It's, and these motherfuckers. It starts are now. Here. Yeah. These motherfuckers are out here talking all kinds of shit about people and their families and their kids and whatever, whatever, yes. whatever. That's evil. That's evil. What? You know what I'm saying? You can't sit here and claim to do God's work when you're holding hands with the devil. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I'm saying? And I know people don't like me because of my mouth. But you know what? I say what I mean, and I mean what I say, and I'm a passionate fucking person. You know? And if you don't like it, eat my dick. 
You heard? You know what I'm saying? All but none cut. I'm know? just as hardcore in real life as I am on fucking Facebook. People that have met mm-hmm. me out rallies, they'll tell you. They'll tell you if I'm standing next to them, they have not a worry in the world because they know I'm quick to fucking jump. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So hmm. my thing is with the people that are running this contractors page, they also ran the con busters page. And this was a year okay. ago. Now then, it's been a year, right? In that year, the people that are running these pages that are talking shit about these patriots, you can go back on their personal Facebook pages, okay? Not one time have they been to a rally. Not one time have they been in their community. Not one time have they, you know, signed a petition because, you know, you can get, you can get, uh, whenever petitions come up, you can get signatures. You can see who signed it. Word. Not one time have any of them signed petitions. Not one time have any of them started petitions. Not one time have you seen any videos or any pictures of them out here in their communities trying to build them up. Not one time have yep. you seen them volunteer in their time to, to help any of the patriots or anyone in their community, whether it be their local school districts or taking a ride along right. with their police department or their EMTs. Mm-hmm. Not one time have they been to any type of, you know, functions where, you know, we're trying to preserve right. our history and our monuments. Or, you know, our right to freedom of speech when we're fighting for our freedom of speech and our constitution, our right to bear arms, Mm -hmm. or we're going against these motherfuckers over Sharia law that are trying to invoke Sharia law. So my thing is, why are you going against people that you have seen with boots to the ground day in and day out? As a matter of fact, Matt Verrier was running uh, con busters a year ago. And right now he's Right now, he's kissing John Beaver's ass, which I like John Beaver's. I do. So whatever, you, if anyone has an issue with him, that's y'all's issue with him because he's always been good to me. I don't get involved in people's shit. Okay. But uh, Contractors is kissing his ass now, but a year ago, they were calling him a fucking fraud when he was selling everything mm. that he owned to get involved in this in this Trump movement to start up with the stickers yeah. and all of that. And help out other patriots. You know what I'm saying? He went broke out of his own money going broke helping out with the movement. You know what I'm saying? He did amazing Mm -hmm. things. He did amazing. And he's still doing amazing things. But the people that are kissing his ass now were attacking him a year ago. And the only reason why they're kissing his ass now is because they want information. And that's what they do. They kiss your ass to get information. And then as soon as you give it to them, they throw you underneath the bus. You know what I'm saying? They talk shit about you. What you mean by I'm not right? What you mean, dude? You said, Mo, you ain't right. What you mean by that? I hope you're playing. Don't be playing. Shit. Uh-huh. But, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> so I think that it's funny that people that call themselves patriots are taking the words of people that have done nothing. And there's proof that they have done nothing. They're asking everyone else for this proof, this proof, 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 Gina. We want proof that you were out there for Thanksgiving helping out homeless people. Okay, I did live feeds. I took pictures. And then they went on the Freedom House website It took pictures from their page and said, look at all these pictures. Gina Nelms is not in one of them. Well, that's bullshit because mm-hmm. I went to the Freedom House page. And guess what? There was a picture of me in the background. Right talking to or playing with a baby, loving on a baby and talking to the grandmother and passing out food. And yes. shit. You know what I'm saying? I right. did an interview. I say an interview. I sat down with this. Um, she's a little old black lady and she was the sweetest day. I mean, she highlighted my day. I mean, if I didn't talk to anyone that day and just her, that was, that was enough for me because old souls like that, you just connect on a different level and they make you, they make you, think outside of your own perspective you know what i'm saying your own ideas right and they give you that that inspiration to see them at an older age in the life that they live mm-hmm. they put yours into perspective to make changes you know what i'm saying and that's what she did for me it was really right. inspiring the story that she shared with me i don't know if you guys got to watch that or not um okay but they want all this proof where's your proof i want proof of you at a rally I want proof that you've signed a petition. I want proof.
proof that you've, you've, you know, created a petition. I want proof that you've been out to your communities and building them up. I want proof that you're yes. out feeding our, our homeless. I want proof that you're out right. here taking time out for our veterans. I want proof of you out That's here right. doing patriotic shit with your boots to the fucking ground before you go, you know, dragging what we do through the fucking mud, all of our hard work through the fucking mud. Where's your proof? That's what I want to know. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When's the last time you decided to take a day out, a couple of a couple of minutes out of your day or an hour out of your day and stop in the middle of, you know, the intersection and talk to a homeless person? When was the last time you decided to go to a, a church and volunteer or to a school and volunteer? When's the last time that you got out here to help the, feed the one in seven children that we have starving in the U.S.? One in mm -hmm. seven. That's the statistics here in the U.S. We have one. It went from one in five to one in seven children here in the U.S. that are going hungry on a daily basis. Yep. So while they're sitting here asking us for all this proof, bitch, we're providing it. You go all through my fucking Facebook page and you'll see not just videos and pictures, but I mean, Call in, call into my community. Ask them about me. I've been doing this shit for fucking years. Before Facebook ever even came around, I've been doing this shit for years. For years. You for years. I'm, I'm ignoring so, you, troll. So where's their proof? That's what I want to know. Yeah, where's Boston. your proof? Where's your proof at? <laughs> Got him. Uh-huh. You seen that video? Uh -huh. Bitch, why you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Mm, why you lying? Stop lying. fucking lying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything that comes out of your mouth. The only damn thing that should be coming out of your mouth is a set of balls and a dick. All right? James, you need to sit your ass down, you troll. Get out of here, troll. I'm going to block you right now, James. I'm bad. Hold on. I'm going to block James really Who quick. Who is it? What? His name is Jam off the block. And James Naper, you know, you heard her name? He said, Gina, you need a tissue. I need a tissue. Motherfucker, why are you watching? Apparently, you need a tissue because I, you going, you're the one over there getting a little messy watching my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to block you because you probably got a backup page. I'm going to let you watch this anyway. Then I'll block you when I'm done. I don't have I'm no backup page. I need to get one. Every time I try to create one, they get taken down. But it is what so it I'm is. I'm not going to block you, James. You happy I'm not blocking you? So, I mean, I that's, that's my thing. While y'all are sitting here wanting proof from all these other patriots out here, where's yours? You know what I'm saying? See, Mo, you only have half of the Where's story. yours? That's what I want to know. <coughs> Where is it, y'all? You know she's recording this live yeah. feed. Hey, girl, Yes, she hey. is. She all like this. How you With her ghetto-ass phone is sitting here like this. Do what? She's sitting here with her ghetto phone looking all like this. Yeah, I've got her. I got her. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get this bitch. I want pictures of what the hell she's been doing in her community. Mm hmm. That's what I want. You hear that? You, you hear that, Adam, Adam's Apple? We need pictures of what you've been doing in your community, Adam's Apple. Miss Granny Smith. I want pictures. Listen, ass girl. Listen, all right? I want pictures of what you have done in your community. Now, now, I don't want none over the past couple of months, all right? I want what you have done in the past year in your community. That's what I want. You did? I want, I want to see a petition that you signed in the past year, okay? Yeah, it is. It's called a fatal attraction. That's right. It's not going to end Ooh, well. Really? Y'all ever watch that, uh, that snap show on Investigation Discovery? <laughs> I mean, I'm just <laughs> saying. That bitch is a little cuckoo. You know what I'm saying? Ain't she? Ain't she, man? She's a little, I mean, she's beyond yeah. obsessed. She's straight Upset. up stage five clinger stalker status on my dick riding it without permission. Bitch, I feel like I'm being raped. Woo! You know what I'm saying? You know? She's so far up my ass. I mean, I just want to know. Like, can you weigh out my turds for me? 
<laughs> Jesus, Lord have mercy. Eat my shit while you're up there, bitch. It's Ooh. weird. It truly is weird. It, it is, and the it only is, reason is, why she is. laid off of me and is going after, after other patriots is because other people started saying it's fucking weird. So mm -hmm. she don't want to look like a weirdo, but guess what? In the process of trying not to look like a weirdo, you look even more weird. Word. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. crazy, man. Lord Maybe I should take one for the team, Jen. Like you said, I should take one for the team on her, right? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I've, I've asked a few people to take one for the team, but I'm going to let you know this. I worry about one of you guys taking one for the team. You know what I'm saying? One of those, you may not come back. You know what I'm saying? Like you dick her down one good time and she's in love and you ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo. I mean, she seems like the type of bitch that would like, you know, save your juices in the bottom of a condom just to, you know, stick them up inside of her after you leave. Oh. You know? Oh, mm. fucking trapping. Trap. She's a trap hoe. <laughs> she called trapping motherfucker. <laughs> Ratchet interruptions. Ratchet interruption. Ratchet interruptions. Right. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yes. Ever I'll watch Misery? Traction. I can see that happening. It's weird. That word weird means something. It's weird. That w look up the definition of the word weird. <laughs> that means something weird. I mean, it's like it's it's just it's weird. You know what I'm saying? I just I don't even know. I've never had like a fatal attraction. At first, yeah, she's was, like, like I said, at first I was, at first I was a little, um, you know, I, I ain't even gonna lie. I was kind of a little, you know, flattered. Right. You know, I'm thinking, bitch, I'm gonna get me a dinner and a movie, maybe some flowers, yeah. some chocolate, right. maybe a bottle of wine, some champagne, see, a lot of candles, see, you know what I'm saying? See, your situation is different than my situation with Bob. <laughs> Stop it, Bob. That's, stop it. That's funny. I, Listen here, all right? Oh, stop it, Bob. He wants him some chocolate. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, he's not a fatal attraction to you. He's your <laughs> Natasha Jane Turner. That's who he Ooh, is. Yeah. Stop Mold it, down. Bob. Is Back a cracker. I'm telling you what, man, there's ass. something wrong with that man. There's something wrong with him. I like that dude. Everybody leave me know. That's my dude. He's funny. There's something wrong with I'm him. I'm going to give him a hug. <laughs> Listen, he said, he said, oh, uh, he said Ace Baker gave me $187,000 for sex. Oh, yes. First Here we go, y'all. I thought, no, I couldn't be mad at that. I laughed my ass off. I thought it was funny. Yep. But <laughs> ready for this? I've never met Ace. I've never met Ace Baker. I would love to, though, because I love Ace. I love Ace. I would right. love to meet him. I think he's right. a great guy. <laughs> but listen here, all right? If you know uh -oh, somebody, here come. listen, I'm going to tell you straight up. If you know somebody that's willing to pay my white ass $187,000 for a little cooter, you go on and send them my way, all right? Because I'm a broke bitch, all right? <laughs> Mama needs a new car. I need a new ride, all right? Right, I right. Buy a <laughs> bitch, I'm tired of spending fourteen hundred dollars a month on rent. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, if you know someone that is willing to spend a hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars for some good good, like what I got down here and wants to check out my snatch, you go on and send them my way. A hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars is a hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars. Mama needs a new ride. You know what I'm saying? So I right. call Ace. I called this motherfucker. I love him. He's got personality. I called him. He said, what's up, girl? I said, bitch, better have my money. He goes, what? I said, where the fuck's my money? He goes, what are you talking about? I said, motherfucker, you owe me $187,000. He said, for what? I ain't even got $187,000. Bitch, why the fuck do I owe you? I said, apparently I gave you some cooter, and I want my money. I said, I know, I ain't willing to give 
credit. You know what I'm saying? I don't do the IOUs. Ooh. You know? I said, mm. Mama needs a new car. He started laughing his ass off. He was like, God bless. He said, I wouldn't even pay myself $187,000 to fuck me. <laughs> he said, I'm a good looking dude. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. He said, I wouldn't even fuck myself oh, for $187,000. He said, I can't afford that shit. <laughs> He's like, I got a wife. <laughs> I'm like, good Lord. $187,000. Shit. You know what I'm else I gay, realized, too, is that a lot, I, of I, I people, fucking... <laughs> a lot of these people are the rejects. You know what I'm saying? They yes. fucked up yes. at some point or another in this movement. They fucked up and they left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. And we kind of, yep. we kind of discarded them, you know what I'm saying? So that's why they went hopping from one patriot to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other. But they left a bad taste in all of our fucking mouths. And now it's just a personal vendetta is what it, I, that's what I think. Yep. I think it's a personal vendetta. I, I think it is too. It's a personal vendetta. It's, it's very, it's very personal, you know, it is very they didn't personal. accomplish what they, they can't sit what the they, cool what they wanted table. to accomplish. Right. It's like, it's like yeah, the cool school, kid. you know what I'm saying? Trying to find a seat at the cafeteria. Can I sit here? Seats taken. You know what I'm saying? Now you fucking hate that person for the whole year because they, they didn't let you sit next to them. You know what I'm right. saying? <clears throat> Whoo, good Lord. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just... People like this, you, you kind of, you got to ask yourself... What happened so horrible in their life and their past to yeah. to you know make their heart this way to make their mind think right the way that it does you know what I'm saying yep I mean you have to have some really bad shit happen to you to yes, to, yeah. to have this this kind of hate in your heart you know what I'm saying and I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not downplaying you know anyone else's struggles because we all come from from something you know what i'm saying and some of us we don't have a very pretty background you know what i'm saying but we mm -hmm. you know as children you know growing up we don't have control over that as adults we do so you can choose yeah. to be a victim of your own circumstance or right. you can choose to take your struggles and your trials and your tribulations and overcome them and let that shit empower you to make the the necessary changes to make you a stronger person you know and yep. a more confident person. These people mm -hmm. are not only lacking, you know, empathy um, or respect for others, but they're they're lacking respect for themselves. And yep. And they don't even know where to start. They want so bad to to you know, I guess have what we have and do what yeah. we do and for people right. to, you know, look to them for some motivation or inspiration or whatever. Um, yeah. But they can't provide that because they can't even give it to themselves. How are you going to give it to a whole fucking world if you can't even give that comfort to yourself? You know what I'm saying? I tell people right. all the time on my, yeah. on my Facebook, whenever I do my live feeds, you know, sometimes I'll have mm -hmm. 30, 40 people. And then sometimes I'll have two, three, 400 people watching me all at the same time. Mm -hmm. It just, you know, but yes. I tell people all the time, I don't know why the fuck you guys like me. I have no idea why y'all like me. There are days that I yeah. wake up and I don't even like myself, you know? Right. I mean, mm. I speak, you know, pretty proud and loud, like I'm confident, you know, daily. And, and yeah. looking at me and hearing me right. talk, you wouldn't think that I question myself. But I do yes. on a daily basis, you know. Mm -hmm. even as an adult, I still have insecurities, but the difference is, is that I don't let it consume me. You know, I believe in myself, yeah. you know, enough to believe, believe that I can change other people's lives because I've changed my own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they can't, they can't change other people's lives because they refuse to change their own. They're, they they mm -hmm. are adults still stuck in their childhood mentality. They have not yes. grown. They have not shed that skin yet to become anew. And whenever you guys do right. that, man, you, you find that there is power in that. 
There is power yes. in letting yeah, go. It is, it is. Right, let so, it go. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think yeah. it's sad, in all honesty. I love the fact that, is. you know, I consume her fucking day. But it's sad to right. think that someone can be so full of hate to do something like that. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? You know, man. that is that is disturbing. Cause she take one time out for a message or something. 